played him early on this morning. Newell, of course, a very much a world-class man in the decathlon outdoors and uh, just testing out the progress of his winter training with some indoor competitions. This is round two. Newell here going out to 7.57. That's uh, good for Newell. He did extend it slightly in round three to 7.63, which was the second best jump of the competition. Just one big group uh, in this heptathlon. No uh, separate long jump groups or anything. You can see Newell there producing a very competent piece of jumping. He is a world-class uh, long jumper, over eight meters at his very best. And the 7.63, he produced good enough for 967 points. And uh, after the 60 and the long jump, leaving him in second place. Newell producing three jumps and getting better with each one. He did, as I say, produce a 7.63 after that with his third effort to uh, scratch up another almost of the long jump competition. And there you see confirmation of that. Magnussen now firmly in charge of that first place. 1,907 points. Erki Newell from Dvorak and Erki Newell now in third place. Alex and uh, Lobinger there coming to you off tape with a successful vault at Tathlon there. That was Erki Newell, you saw from Estonia going well in the high jump fourth event. Tathlon. Wow, good clearance from Erki Newell. Sees that, he'll see that there really wasn't the space. He wasn't on the Italian like that. Maybe the Italian didn't have a great deal of uh, option. Well, we'll wait to see. Erki Newell. Two, or two is the height of the bar now in the men's heptathlon here. Fourth event of the day for them. Second attempt here. And that's more like it, Erki Newell. Well, you got a, a ten for the celebration. Their career, as I said, a prodigious talent. Erki Newell. Well, failure for him there. Final won by Sacramento and the start. 352 points, 88 points ahead of Dvorak. So there you see the lineup for the second running of this 1000. Final event for these men, Erki Newell in the lead after six events. 5,352 points with an 88 point lead over Thomas Dvorak. Number 97, you can see from Czechoslovakia. And Magnussen. In the third place, there's Erki Newell from Estonia. Been very popular here with the crowd, bit of a showman. Uh, nice guy. Missed out on a medal in the championships, world championships in Gothenburg in the decathlon. Finishing fourth. He had a very good third round, still being led by Ajipon. FTME from Romania there. But now back with the 1000 in the battle for gold, silver and bronze. Being finalised here, Erki Newell from Estonia. Well, I was about to say he goes into the lead, but Dvorak just uh, eases along the outside. And both of these men, pretty good exponents, over 1,500 in the decathlon, normally running under 4.30, which is a kind of benchmark time. Fascinating little struggle, this Steve. Newell will try to hang on to Dvorak for as long as he can. As he said, the Czech will need to finish some uh, 10 seconds or so ahead of Newell to close that gap of 88 points after uh, six events. Magnussen, the Swede, in the bronze medal position. Well, you wouldn't think so, the way she's uh, mouthing off there. Looks a bit frustrated with herself, I guess, there. Knows that uh, she can clear it that well, that she shouldn't really have had two failures in the first place. Dvorak leading them through, Jarbo now moving around the outside and this man has by far the fastest time over 1500 and uh, not surprisingly he's wanting to move this pace along somewhat reasonable pace, 65 seconds through the first 400 uh, just past the halfway mark there for these men, Erki Newell now passes Dvorak so Erki Newell well on his way to a gold medal here, Magnussen of Iceland, just keeping an eye on Kamara there, the big man moving up on the outside. There's Magnussen, with a distinctive shaving style, shall we say. 
Maybe specially designed to win gold here in Stockholm. Not managing to do so. Jarbo bringing them through here. Jarbo currently in sixth position overall. And Iapacchino, the Italian, is jogging around a long way behind. Not obviously punching the task here. So Jarbo with a very good chance to move himself up in the rankings. At least one place because Kamara behind him is in fourth place overall. So Jarbo, Kamara, Dvorak, Erki Newell, Magnussen. Coming around on the last lap now. I don't think any of the gold, silver and bronze positions are going to change at all. Magnussen, the only one who was really under any threat, but he's finished close enough, I think, to Kamara and Jarbo, who are having their own private battle at the front, and Kamara is going to win this battle. Kamara wins 240, Jarbo second, Dvorak, Erki Newell, arms raised, crosses the line, the gold medalist in the heptathlon. A fantastic performance by him, Erki Newell, confirmed as gold medalist. Sebastian Kamara winning the 1,000, but he will have to settle, I'm sure, for fourth place overall. This man wins gold for Estonia, and a popular victory indeed. Started out with 6.9 early yesterday, and a long jump of 7.63. And Erki Newell finishing off with a steady 1,000 to win gold. Not too far away from the bronze medal position held by Arnie Holt from Sweden with 1660. Erki Newell then confirmed as the winner of the heptathlon with 6,188 points, a full 74 points ahead of uh, Thomas Dvorak. The Czech taking his very small, powerful athlete, quick approach, only one pretty in that gold medal position. And confirmation there of the heptathlon result after the seventh event. Two days of competition for those men. Eric e. Newell, a worthy winner with a massive new personal best there. 6 one Long way ahead of Thomas Forjak. 74 points the difference between them. And a pretty big gap, some 50 points or so, back to Magnussen, who takes the bronze medal with uh, Kamara in that uh, awful position. Fourth place for him. So Newell's winter training then, given that stamp of approval. Things obviously rolling on well for the Estonian. And uh, he'll attack his training between now and the summer season with renewed relish, I'm sure. And gold for Estonia, ahead of Dvorak of the Czech Republic and Iceland, getting a medal through Magnussen to go with the gold in the women's pole vault. Erki Newell then steps up to take gold. Very consistent competition from the 25-year-old. New personal best there by, what, some uh, 160 points there or thereabouts. Good long jumper, holds the world best in a decathlon for the long jump, well over eight metres, and very fast too. And of course, that's the key to being a good multi-eventer is speed. That final event, 1,000 indoors, 1,500 outdoors, almost an irrelevant for the majority of occasions. Thomas Dvorak then taking second place. 74 points down on Erki Newell, but uh, only 23 Dvorak, and of course, will get a lot stronger over the next few years if training progresses well. Took the silver medal last year at the World Indoor Championships in the heptathlon, and uh, ending up in second place again is the Czech. And then in third, Jan Arna Magnusson of Iceland. Good competition for him. 50 points or so outside his personal best, uh, which is just shy of Dvorak's total, so he must be happy with that. But he too, a real speedster, 10.65 man for 100, an 8 metre long jumper at his best. So we'll see these men again, I have little doubt, in Atlanta. Erki Newell probably likely to play the most important part in that Olympic competition, but a winner today.
So Erki Newell then, thanks to uh, great consistency throughout each of the seven events, particularly in the vault, where uh, his competition really came alive, taking the gold medal there. And a very happy Estonian Erki Newell this afternoon. Well proportioned man, six foot, 78 kilograms. Estonian indoor, 60 